Hey guys, it's Ironhunter960 back again with another video. Today we'll be continuing our adventure in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. The last episode we had done Insanity Island and the Hazardous Waste. So now we're going to be moving on to the next area, which is Salty Wharf, in which the first level is called Booty Calls. So this level is based off the, you know, like, standard pirate stuff that, you know, is pretty neat. The pirate aesthetic is pretty cool, and you got some enemies wearing neat little, um, bandanas across the board, which is an awesome aesthetic. I gotta get rid of those flame crates. There we go. Okay, I got those crates. Now this level is pretty interesting in the fact that there is a couple of like rail grinding segments. I mean obviously that isn't new at this point as we did have face some rail grinding segments in the previous area. However, this one features a new thing which you can actually spin on them as well. And I gotta nab that flashback tape before getting these crates and we'll head on our way. It is pretty cool how's how they have like this rope thing. Rope detail and you have to of course jump over some obstacles. <clears throat> well that means there's no insanely perfect then since I died. However, that doesn't stop me from trying to get all the crates, because there is a pretty neat skin for Crash, which is a pirate themed outfit, of course. <clears throat> Why wouldn't there be one? Again! Ah! <coughs> That's hilarious. You know what they say, third time's a charm. There we go. I just gotta make sure I don't die at least two times. Because that will be bad. I mean, of course. I mean, I already died the first time, so I mean, it, it's already bad enough, but it'd be worse. Got those crates. I don't remember where the hidden gem in this level is, though. Oh, no, never mind. I do. I'm sorry, I lied. Let me go ahead and go within order of these ones. Because you do have to... Well, I can't die another time. Um, you do have to go with... Hang on, what was I going to say? You have to go two separate paths, and you have to complete both of these paths in order to get all the gems within this level. So I have to, like, venture my way back after this. Which I do have to be careful of. I gotta wait this one out. There we go. Because you have to move on to this area. And make sure there is no more crates. It's cool, kind of cool how it branches out past like that. But it might be annoying if you die within one. Or the, like the latter half because you have to do them both again. Let me get all these, like, question mark crate blocks, because they'll give me enough, uh, you know, wump of fruit, as it's called, to get me another gem. Two, three, four, five. 
and save those for later. But in the meantime, let me also get this bonus round. Which, this one does have a, fun, a bunch of fun obstacles you need to avoid, but... It's whatever to those. There we go, let me grab that crate, and... Nice. Look at that sick bounce. That is another one in the bag. <clears throat> so the rest of this is just pretty simple. There you go. Yeah, by that gem is down this way. Okay. I gotta wait for that again. Oh, okay. There we go. This water is so much of a dangerous hazard. Wait, what am I doing? I could just Ted. No, no, I actually have to grab that. Dang it. And I can head this way. Okay. Whew. Now, do we have enough crates? Let's, I mean, not crates. Enough of the yeah yeah crates why did, why did I think something else I don't think so I don't think we did enough oh we actually did okay we thankfully went past the threshold we didn't get the insanely perfect relic but we did get all the crates of the level earning us the skin nicknamed booty seeker nice okay so there was an error in the recording where I accidentally muted myself so I'll have to go through and play back the levels but it's alright, I'll probably just speedrun them and then give up some commentary on the thing. Because I already collected the gems in this level. I could go for the Insanely Perfect Relic uh, again, but probably not. But anyway, the next level up is Hook, Line, and Sinker. This is the first of many alternate timeline levels where the main goal... The main goal is you play as another character in, yeah, said alternate timeline. Like, so for example, this is a other version of the character Tana. As we play through in the pirate wreckage of the current world that we're in. Jump on you. This level's pretty alright for what it is. There is some, like, weird ones, like, what is it called? Not bears repeating, bu building bridges, that's what the level's called. Which is, is a bit, like, tough. Of how it's, like, weirdly designed. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. I need that for later, just in case. Might want to get the insanely perfect relic for this level, because this level is pretty simple to do. So close to losing my mask, but thankfully I got it. One weird thing about this level, I mean not not this level, but this character is that sometimes the hook shot doesn't want to um, like lock on anything, so you end up with, like just dying for no reason.
because I could, you know, snipe it from there, but I'm gonna play the safe route. That's some speed run tech right there. Blow those up. Jump on this guy. And then I gotta get these ones, which thankfully, like I said earlier, that there it does have that um little shadow thing on the bottom to help you see where you need to go. Should be at well, 98 after this, these ones. Which is good. There's only two crates left. There's one on top of this box, but if you have to use the hook shot to get. Eyes on target. There you go. Now, I actually did get the insanely perfect relic. That's nice. Don't have to play this level again. And with that level locked, we unlock some alternate timeline levels. So want to play it earlier, but we do have that's not what I wanted to do. The next one, which is Jetboard Jitty. I don't think I did die in this level, but. Wait, yeah, I did get the insanely perfect relic, I think. Yeah, I did. Okay. So we'll just speed through this level. This level is pretty nice for what, for what it is. Got some, you know, neat, unique things with it. First death, that's alright, though. This, however, if you are trying to get the Platinum Relic, there's a bunch of, um, like, cycles you have to go through. I mean, like, those ropes are, you have to, like, wait until they're decent enough to, you know, just instantly swing on them. I'm gonna grab that. Like, see, you gotta, like, sometimes you gotta be careful for those. Okay. Yeah, one cool detail is that you can see the mini boss at the end of the level in here, which is Luis. You'll see him in a bit again. Okay, that's. Uh, Right there. I would say uh, these jetboard sections are not as good as the main level, mainly because there's some like pretty weird nonsense in each of them. This is the first one. There is a couple of other ones later. I thought I could make that. Okay. Pretty neat section right there. But you gotta watch out for these guys as well. Sure, miss it. Uh, there we go. 
And it gets pretty crowded, especially with the next section. Now there's like three of those rats. But thankfully, I do have a mask to burn, which I just did right now. I gotta be careful. There we go. We have the best Crash Bandicoot boss, Luis. Which we have to do by guiding these rats into Luis's tail on our tentacles. There we go. Of course, you gotta steer clear of them. There we go. That's that one done. Now onwards to the next hub, which is... I forgot. <laughs> okay, like I said, the next hub, which is Tranquility Falls. The first level, give it a spin of the area. Now, I, I want to do get the insanely perfect of this one. I was so close the last, the first time I completed this level. Not the very first, but the first time for this playthrough. On the recording, I actually missed a, what's called, a exclamation crate. Meaning that I couldn't get all the boxes in the level. But in this up level, we're introduced to the mechanic of the dark matter spin. Which allows us to break the metal crates as well as, you know, float in the air. Like the Death Tornado Spin. Stay clear for those. Which is another sign for another alternate timeline level. Now there is that checkpoint, I mean that exclamation cart, cart crate that I forgot to get. There we go. It has snaps us some good crates later on. There is one uh, thing I have to watch out for a bit later, but we'll see. See if I do it without messing up. I guess no insanely perfect relic, but I guess I'll get them the crates then. gonna risk that.
Well, as time goes on, these bonus stages are going to get exponentially harder. There we go, this one's done. Make sure it blows all those up. Okay, good. Let's see if there was 72 nitros in this level. Okay, I guess. I missed one crate. That's funny. <laughs> mm. Moving on to the next level of this hub, this would actually be Dragon on. This one does have the gimmick of having the blue gem in it, which originally if you were playing this you would have to beat the level without dying which i did do before beforehand in that lost recording or messed up one so so i can't actually grab crates in this event, which i will attempt to do Okay, I almost just risked death right there. There we go. One cool thing that I, yeah, I guess in the first episode that I got these was for the skips, which you can get up here. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I'm not gonna risk that though.
There we go. Get that out of the way. I know in a bit it won't be worth it to do these bonus stages anymore because they all like just become puzzles that you have to like intricately solve like for example it'd be hard to do that for your first time but okay that's not what I wanted to do come on This is a good example of that. I get all the, I don't think I get all the all the crates. Did I? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> Some sneaky crate placement over here. Oh, I got the hidden jump too. Neat. I wasn't looking for that too. I almost forgot about that. thought I was done for. Thing <laughs> nabbit. What the heck? What the heck? My game just glitched out. What? Huh? I got. I guess dying too many times just completely botched it. Botched it. Sorry. And onwards to the next and final level of this game. Off balance. Almost said offbeat, which is a another another level of this game. You know, I've done. Which one has a pretty cool speedrunning trick in it as well. Nope, I don't know what to do. You don't actually have to grab those crates, those get um, broken up.
There we go. This bonus stage in the bag. Well, then I'm here also. Let me get the hidden gem. Three. But you can get this level's hidden gem by going up here. And it does take you back to this area. There we go. That's not what I meant to do. That's going to be helpful for later. Oh, wait. Okay, let me activate the... What can I get up there? There we go. Oh, no. Get hanged up. Thought. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> that nabs us this one. That should be the last amount of crates for this part. Okay. Can wait for them. I gotta time this one. There we go. Yes, hurry! Your reward is just up ahead. 
Gotta be careful for this one. Wait, let me wait on these um dragon fires. One, but that's all right. There is actually one more level to this, which is the boss part. This is we're facing off Embryo. So, in this one, he just throws potions around and throws his minions at us. The good thing about this fight is it does have a checkpoint around like this part, so you can continue on from here. And you gotta keep this power up until the end, so... You just like juke them here and there. Of course, you got to be careful. If you do get hit with those beams, you'll get you'll get flying off. That's it for this boss fight. Anyway, that'll, that'll be it for this part. In the next episode, we will be conquering Mosquito Marsh, which is a New Orleans-inspired type of hub world. If you did not enjoy this video, uh, please tell me in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, and, and now that we have that level completed, let me go ahead and switch these two. And now we have both classic skins for, sorry, both retro skins for the retro playthrough. And... <laughs>